Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. This weather is really hot. Horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. I have my fan here. It's not enough. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Jennifer. I need an air conditioner. Hey, Jose, get me an air conditioner. Um. Depende qué tamaño quiere, yo tengo de todos. Small, uh, el más pequeño. My office Do is small. You want to see my office? Let me show uh, you my office. It's very, very small. Sería uno de 12,000 BTU. What? Ah, Esa es como la medida. Um, el, precio, <laughs> el precio habría que ver si tiene energía 220 en casa o 110. I have 220. Um, Look, this 400, is my office. Pequeño. Oh, yes. Cuatro, what? <laughs> and you? What, what? Why are you my friend? Se lo instalamos gratis. Sí, son um, algo. Bueno, pero es que todo se ha ido arriba. Entonces. Pues. <laughs> You see, this is a, a small room and I have two offices here, so I, I need a... No se mira, no se mira. Eso está blanco. Pero, sí, 499 con instalación. Es de pasar su cama a la oficina para que valga la pena. ¡Ja, Okay, but uh, cash or yes, credit. yes, yes. No, cash, cash, and credit. Ah, uh, sale un poco más por interés. Good evening. Como mienten ahí en la curazao. Yes. Ah. Uh... Uh, también en claro con su punto rojo. <laughs> Como esa cosa de cuotas sin interés y le entregamos el producto siete días después. Una serie. No, pero sin interés, sí, ahí no hay tos. Ajá, ajá. Sí, no. Sí, también se puede con tarjeta. Mm. 499 dividido en un año o en dos años. Oh, really? ¿Sin yes. intereses? Sin intereses. Tarjetas de la agrícola, Cuscatlán y la vivienda. Ah. Sí, con, 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 esas, con esas tres se puede. I only have back. I received the product 10, 10, 10 days before. Yeah, I, I purchased a refrigerator last year. Cash. And took two weeks. Two semanas. Two weeks to receive it. Dos, two weeks, two semanas. <laughs> yes. From La Curazao. Cash. Okay. Le voy a dar mi descuento I, de empleado. ¿no? I know. <laughs> you see, no you es see, mucho, yeah, pero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no es mucho, pero ayuda. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm teasing. Estoy molestando. I need a cell phone as well. Uh, um, claro, claro. Cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hay muchas promociones que podemos aprovechar. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, we have the boss here. Hay que aprovechar. <laughs> oh, punto red. Ahí está su punto rojo. An iPhone, <laughs> an iPhone. <laughs> último, el último. Okay, people, let's get started. Aquí hay para la venta. Uh, 
Solo de 100 dólares. Cash, 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 cash. Ok, very good. Well, we're going to make business. Business, business. What, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más vendemos? Sí. <risa> Creo que aquí hay de todo. Las... Palcos. Ah, la que daba, la Palcos. Que daba Ay, partidos que podemos vender. ¿Ah? Hasta partidos podemos vender. <risa> Hola, Evelyn. Evelyn, 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 ¿qué pasa ahí? Evelyn, Evelyn. ¿Ah? Te escucho. Ah. Hey, mejor. No, ¿cuál zapato? Sí, no, 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 no. <risa> No se puede. No se puede. Oh, que entregaron a la Select. No, pero, pero no iba ninguno del águila y tampoco. Ah, no. O, o sea, el Romero. Ah. ¿A dónde? Benji Villalobo. Benji, Benji. 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 Ah, sí. Villalobos. Ok, ok. Ok, people, let's take the first attendance of the evening. Atil Ernesto Castillo. Present. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Hello. Here yet? Eric de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Very good. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Hernán. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Teacher present, pero lo siento, hoy sí estoy en una conferencia. Okay. okay. No problem. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good, welcome. José Abel Izaguirre. José Abel. Here. Eh, Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Okay. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Hey, the personal session is with you, Tony. Okay, copy. copy. We, can, we can make business at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Hey. No, I'm happy with Tigo right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to be uh, a, a, a large Convince me. Okay. Convince me. Convince me. Okay. <laughs> Justo en el Cora. Ya no, ya nos empezaba a caer bien. Ya nos empezaba a caer bien. Sí. Es que a veces la gente tiene malos gustos y malos ratos. Ah, <risa> ah, hijo de eso. <risa> no, they, at, at least a few years ago they didn't have cable. Here. I place only eh, eh, satellite TV. So. Sí, eso sí. Deben right. aceptar. Every rain, it was a problem. Okay, but no, I, I'm. Don't, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Marcos. The technology has changed. <laughs> okay, okay. Uy, ya toqué una tecla sensible. Marcos Vidal Lumaña. Present. <laughs> Nelson no Orlando se meta Tejada. No, <laughs> oh, y hay bastantes aquí, o sea que. Me metí en Honduras. Sí, sí. <laughs> Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Ok. 
Eh, René Alessandro Teresón. Te voy a decir, good evening. Good evening. Eh, Ruth Abigail Brito. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Ruth. Uh, Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. We need a massage too. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay. Suleyma Rosibel Catalan. Using in action. Uh, Jorge Luis Martinez. Jorge Luis. Yet. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, people, welcome one more time. Okay, very good. What were we talking last night? Let's see. Okay, last night we finished talking about your activities at work, things you have to do, and things you need to do. Okay, let's see. Let's practice with this question. What is something you have to do at work these days? I put that question in the chat. What is something you have to do at work these days? So maybe this week. And think about that again. And tell me one, only one. I know you have a lot of things to do. But I need only one. Uh, I'm going to start with um, Rene, what is something you have to do at work these days? Rene, tell me one thing. Only one thing? Yes, only one. Um, I print invoices. Okay, could you make a sentence using I have to? Oh, I need to deliver invoices ah, to okay. each customer. Okay, good. Continue with the question with another classmate, Rene. You have the question okay. in the chat. What is something you have to do at work these days? Use your... Okay. What is something you have to do at work this day, Mr. Tony? Okay. Um, I need to make a meeting with the better vendors in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. Good, good. Okay, um, Continue. what is something you have to do at work this day, um, Alexander Sorto, or Sorto? Uh, I have to create, create a preventive maintenance plan. Ah, okay. Good. Continue, Pedro. With the question. 
veamos. Mamá. José Miguel Maza. Okay. Permítame. Okay. José Miguel Maza, what is something you have to do at work these days? Uh, I need sell, I need sell tre, three motorcycles. Three motorcycles. Good evening, teacher. Good I'm evening, sorry. Jose Abel. Yes, okay. I need three motorcycles and, and yes, one air conditioner. <laughs> I want air conditioner. That's it. Um, Don Nelson Orlando Tejada, what is something you have to do at work this day? Yeah. Are you Nelson? Nelson at one, Nelson at two, Nelson, knockout. Okay. Someone else. Uh, Don Hernan Antonio, what is something you have to do at work this day? Okay, um, I need to uh, technique. Um, I need to. No, I need the technician to deliver my uh, my car and to me uh, Tuesday at dot pm. Ah, okay, good. Continue or not with a question to someone else. Um. Quiero ver. No sé quiénes pasaron ya. Go ahead. So choose someone. There are many. Choose a lady. A ver. El, con Luis Miguel. Okay, Luis Miguel, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Let me see. I need to meet, I need to get a meeting with the supervisors in the distributor. Mm. Okay. Good. Marcos, what is something you have to do at work this day? Okay. I need supervisor in in route. Um, in Santa Ana City. You need to supervise the route, route the route in ah. the San, in Santa Ana City. Ah, okay. Okay, one more. Okay, uh, Atilio, what is something you have to do at work this day? I have to go to supervise solid group Cara Sucia uh, eat a fish. Yes, Tony. In Cara Sucia. Yes. yes. It fish in Cara Sucia, really? Mucho frío. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, it's near the beach. Ah. La Barra, La Barra, right? Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful yes. place. Hola de Monte, too. And Garita Palmera. Yeah, those are beautiful. <laughs> Garita, Cha Garita Chapina, Garita Chapina. Okay, no people. Ido, <laughs> very good, very good. Well, so yesterday we were talking about that. Today, uh, we are going to continue with 
this. Let me share the screen. Ah, oh, not yeah. the attendance, this. Okay, let's finish this quickly to start unit three. Um, we are going to take a quick look to ordinal numbers, dates, to uh, schedule activities. We have a conversation here between Susan and Adele. Let me enlarge it. Look at this conversation. Uh, where is that? Between Susan and Adele. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, one more time, listen. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay. We have a couple of questions here. Just when is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting, people? On Monday, November 22nd. Yes. Yes. Monday, November 20th. Yeah. Here. Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Not because that, only, no. only have two two meetings. Yeah, maybe not two right. Events. Two events only. Right. Agenda. <laughs> Okay, very good. Uh, well, we have here the month of the year. I also have a presentation here. Let me show you this. The month of the year. Let's practice quickly this. Remember January, January February, February, March, March April. April. If you uh, listen the first time and second time, we're going to practice, okay? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now repeat. January. 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 January February. February. March. March. March, February, March, March April, April. 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 May, May, May June, 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 July, July, July August, 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 September, 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 September October, November, 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 November December, 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 December. Okay. Very good. Okay. By the way, just give me the month. When is your birthday? Jennifer said, when is your birthday? What month? October. October. Okay. What about you, Evelyn? When is your birthday? September. In September. Good. And Sophia, when is your birthday? September. September too. Okay. Um, Consuelo, when is your birthday? Not there. Hmm. 
Okay. My bird is in September 2. September 2. Okay. Okay. Uh, employees, pay attention. The boss's birthday is on September 2. You hear that? Todos se, todos se enferman okay. ese día. Okay. <laughs> they know. Okay, good. Um, well, let me ask you, when is, uh, what month? What month is, uh, um, what activity is, um, Father's Day? What month is Father's Day? It's on yeah. June. June. Ah, okay. Good. June. Huh. I don't know. You don't. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. What month is Teacher's Day? Uh huh? Uh -huh. June. 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 Uh, June. Okay. Okay. If you if you have children at school, you must know. No, es que, es que es cierto, del papá no me acuerdo porque no tenía de papá y la otra porque no me dan regalo, entonces, ¿para qué me va a acordar, pues? No, oh, compró sodas, masa, y no regresó, ah. se fue a comprar sodas y no regresó. No, se fue por cigarros y nunca volvió. <risa> ok, good. When is uh, Día de Muertos? November. 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 Ah, November. November. Children's Day. Huh? Children's Day. When is Children's Day? October. 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 Okay, very good. <clears throat> so we need to know that when we talk about dates, we always use ordinal numbers. Do you remember ordinal numbers? Yes. Uh, and um, we need to know ordinal numbers because we talk about date. Uh, we always use ordinal numbers talking about date. Okay. Just to remind you about this. Let's practice. Repeat, please. First. First. Second. 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 Third. Second. Third. 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 Fourth. 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 Recuerden este Fourth. sonidito Fourth. TH. ¿Cómo les he dicho que suena esta TH? Fourth. 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 Like feta. Like Fourth. 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 Fourteen, fourteen, Twenty-first. 
35. 35. 35. 35. 35. Okay. Just to know we use uh, we use ordinal numbers for dates for centuries for sequence or order and to talk about the floors of a building just to give you some information. But now we are going to focus in on dates, okay? Dates. How to say the date in English? We have two different ways, the American way and British or rest of the world actually way. Okay, in America, in American English, we uh, write, you can write March 7, month and day. The order is month and day. In British English, the order is day and month, day and month. In American English, even though you write the date in with cardinal numbers, the pronunciation must be with ordinal numbers. Okay? Not March 7. No. It's March 7th. Okay? Always. It doesn't matter if the date is not written in ordinal numbers. No importa si no está escrito in ordinal numbers. The pronunciation should be in ordinal numbers. Okay? So, today, what? Well, today is May. 12. Okay, no May 12. It's May 12. In British English, we say the 7th of March. The order is different. The 7th of March. When you write the date in numbers, in American English, you write the month, the day, and the year. In British English and rest of the world, you write the day, the month, and the year. And year. Okay? And year. Any question here, people? No questions? It is, is it clear? Uh, I have a question. What is the origin of the, um, the order uh, in US um, versus uh, the Britannic version? Uh, in El Salvador is normally to use first the number of the day and then the month like the British way, but in US is... is um, Gringos are, are crazy. Oh, okay. The, <laughs> no, I don't know and, what, what, why. I don't know the reason. Yeah. That must be uh, something in history. We need to find out. But this is, for me, it's more... Um, more relative or, or, or more normally the British way, but it is the same that. Uh, yes. Okay. So it's not only 
is not only the United Kingdom, is the rest of the world. We use that form. Um, only gringos okay. use this form. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it is curious because also, for example, the, the, the weight uh, measure, las, las medidas de peso, we use British, uh, British way. Nosotros usamos libras. Mm -hmm. Como ellos. In gringos, they use kilos. See? La, and, the, and, the length measures as well. We use meters and centimeters. They use inches. Mexican, uh -huh. Mexican people too use kilos. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a gringos and ajenados. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the other question is um, with the month, the Real Academia of España, of the language of Espanol, um, the month is used with the uh, non capital letters in the month, but in mm -hmm. English, it's, it's with the capital letter, the first uh, yes. word. Yes. Yes. In English, days and months are uh, start with capital letters. In Salvador, Puchito. Uh, in Spanish, it's uh, the, the capital letters, letra mayúscula, minúscula, se dice lowercase letter. Let me write it here, lower case letter. Es minúscula. Mm -hmm. Okay, then as you see here, days. We always use ordinal numbers for the date in spoken English. Not always in written English, but in spoken English, yes. First, second, third, etc. okay? Then month, month always start with capital letter. So, and it's important to know the difference because look at this. Look at this example, 3, 5, 18. In the United States, this is March 5th, 2018 or 2018. In England or the rest of the world is third, of May, the set the third of May 2018. Spells, mm. It's a big difference. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The other thing that it is important when we talk about dates is the way we read years. Como leemos los años. Years are normally divided into two parts. Yeah, for example, 1984 is 1984. 1.652 2017 exception for the years from 2000 to 2010 we normally say 2000 and the number for example, 2006. The 2000 al 2010. Lo leemos así. 2006. Okay, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 
2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, pero ya de ahí, 2011, 2012, 2013. Okay. Right now we are in 2022. Okay. Any question, people? Para el caso de 3000, ¿cuánto sería? Sería 3000. 3000. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Serían todos los que llevan cero. Ok. ¿Qué cosa? Eh, Thousand is mil. Two thousand and six. Dos mil. Seis. No todos los que llevan cero, okay. porque por ejemplo. A ver, escribo acá. Por ejemplo. Esto. Usualmente se lee eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred, por ejemplo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Cuando se lee así, solo el, el número redondo, mil ochocientos. 1800. Okay, any other question? Así sería sucesivamente hasta llegar a, a 2000. Acuérdate que después del, ya por ejemplo, this. Ya lo dividís. Mm -hmm. De dos en dos. 1856. Six. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? Ok. Para el yeah. caso de 1900 sería. Eh, 1900. 1900. Ok. 1900. Ok. 1900. De 1901. Uh, Uh, 1901. Yeah, 19... No, 1901. Usually it's 1901. Yeah. Teacher, estaría bien leído en eh, 1800 también como eh, 1800. Um, uh, when we talk about years, nunca lo he escuchado así. O sea, no, rara vez se lee todo el número completo. Si la excepción ha sido 2000 para acá. El 2000. Ah, oh, sí, está bien haberme lo dicho que es leyendo años. Pero sí, sí. Cantidad, cantidades como tal, entonces sí, ok. Sí, cantidades, sí, sí, aquí estamos hablando de cómo leer años. Ajá. Pero aún cuando usted muchas veces escucha hablar de cifras, una parte de años, así leen los, ¿verdad? Los 1500. ¿Cuánto cuesta? 1500. 1500 le van a decir. ¿Verdad? 1200, 1200. ¿Ya? Realmente así lo escuché. Ok. Bueno, well, let's see. 
we can practice. I'm going to share a link with you. Let me show you this. Wait a minute, my WhatsApp is loading. Okay, there it is. Wow, a lot of pictures. <laughs> okay, go to this link. And you will get to this activity. Let me show you the activity. Oh, no, no, no. The activity is this. How to write and say dates in English. British English, American English. Yeah, the, this is the information, the same information. Here is the exercise. So the first exercise is American, or British. You only have to write to choose if the date is in American uh, mode or British mode. Yeah, this is the first part. The second part says listen and write dates. You have to listen. The 6th of December, 2016. I don't know if you heard that. Let me see if did you hear that? The sixth of December, two thousand sixteen. Yes, teacher. Okay. June the twelfth, twenty sixteen. Listen and write the date. And the last exercise is how do you say these dates? And you have the Brit British mode. British way and American way. De acuerdo a la banderita, Siri. The 1st of November, 1978. Okay. I shared the link in WhatsApp. Uh, I'll put you in groups to work on that. Somebody can share the, the page if you want, the others work together. Okay. Okay, join your groups and work in that exercise about dates.
What happened, Angelio? El teacher me sacó el internet, me pone al grupo. ¿Con quién estabas? Con Tony. Okay. There you go.
The 11th of January, 11th of January, 1723. The 11th of January, 1723. This is so easy, man. Um, 7th? The 11th of January, of January. 1723. 11th, 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 11th. Teacher, we have a question with the second uh, answer of uh, the British, the British mode. January the mm -hmm. first, 2000. January the first, 2000. The 21st of December. 2017. January the 1st, 2017. Is that correct? Can we the pronunciation of January the 1st, 2000? January the 1st, 2000. Let me, give me a second. I'm going to check it here in my computer. That is the the second of the second British Second British. Where is it? Can you play it, please? The 31st of December, 2017. Yeah, that's the correct. December, 2017. That's right. That's right. Okay. Thank you. La otra que estaba difícil era esta. April the 23rd, 1521. <laughs> ¿Tienen alguna otra duda, jóvenes? Aprovechando la de mi parte, no. No me queda de eso. Okay. Okay, see you later then. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The 10th of August, 1621. No, I think we failed in the last one. The 10th of August, 16 41 no creo que sea así 1641 es que así le escucho ahí the 10th of 16, august 1641 the 10th of august 1641 The 10th of August, 1641. 11.30. The 2nd of November. 11.30. 30. The 2nd of August, 16.41. 16.41. 16. ¿Qué se dice? Otra vez, permita. Otra vez. August 1641. Es de 2nd en noviembre, 11 y no escucho otro. Se in the kingdom, Teacher. Yes. 
la, esta, la, la cuarta, dice, the fifth is the day crow. So, day crow. No, 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 vamos. The day crow, please. Click it. The fifth is the day crow. I cannot listen. Can you play it again? Click it for please. No, 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 no escucha cuando, por ejemplo, ahorita lo voy a poner. ¿Te escuchó? No. Ah, pues no, no, no se escucha. Let me click here. Ah. Porque esta sí no vamos. <risa> Las otras sí. Y esta la estoy descubriendo. ¿Qué dice? Ok. Uy, ¿qué dice? Where are you going? Okay. Keep working, okay? The house. Ah, sí, eh. Ahí, ajá. Ese solo tenía mil. 2001. Chair, December 2001. Mm -hmm. uh, my fears, praise. Mira, Miguel, no sé si este volado nos va a tirar este error por la letra capital, ajá. Y aquí estaría fears. Ya.
How do you feel, teacher? I feel good. I see you. Uh, you feel bored or tired? Oh, I'm just waiting for you. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you. Okay. I don't know if you finished or not, but it's time to continue. It was difficult. It was easy. Yes. Only the difficult. Or difficult to. to British, yeah. British English is. Difficult. It's difficult. difficult. British for English. me, it's really difficult. It's yeah. so fast when the, they talk. And... They live to me. <laughs> yes, and they speak different. Actually, British English sounds sounds different. But yeah, Espanol, is very fast, teacher. Espanol, <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> anything that the first time. Yeah. British talk. Uh, um, I like more Hebrew because it's more expressive, the English, and the word is more rich to pronunciation and is more yeah it, it sounds elegant it sounds <laughs> very nice but nosotros de donde oh they oh. they have some different vocabulary sometimes i remember when i was working as an interpreter i received a, from from time to time calls from England so oh it was a pain in the neck talking <laughs> with with these uh British people because sounds very nice so but well for example they don't say they don't say lawyer I don't remember what was the word they didn't say lawyer. He is he, he so different, different vocabulary, but water. It's in, yeah, the pronunciation is. No, they don't say water. They say what? Water. 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 Right. <laughs> you miss the water. But okay, you can practice. You have the exercise there. You have the links. Okay, you can practice. As much as you want and uh, get familiar, no, get familiar. Okay. Okay. So, well, I have to take the second attendance of the evening. So please respond. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Okay. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present. Good, Erika Denilson Escobar. Present, teacher. Good, Eric Jose Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay, Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Okay, Hernan Antonio Chacón. Present, teacher. Good, Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. I hope you're there. Uh, Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here present, teacher. Good. Jose Miguel Maza. Present. Okay. Juan Antonio Elias. Present, teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel yes. Cortera. Present. Good. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Okay. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Okay, Rene Alessandro Teresón. Present, teacher. Okay, Ruth Abigail Brito. Present. Good, Sofía Carolina Hernández. Sofía. Hello. Uh, Present. Okay. No. Yes, yes, yes. William Alexander Paniagua. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Sulaima Roxibel. Uh, Jorge Luis Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. 
Present teacher. Very good. Okay. Okay, let's continue with lesson uh, unit three. Lesson one, unit three. Uh, we have to start this today. Let me share the screen. So in this lesson, you will be able to describe future work events. Well, future work events. Um, we have a couple of questions here. The first question says, who schedules the events at your workplace? Ah, interesting question. Can you tell me who schedules the events uh, at your company, at your office? Uh, at your workplace. Do you understand the question? ¿Quién programa los eventos? Yes. The boss. The boss. Tony Elias. The boss, Tony Elias. Okay, good. So with Claro people, Tony. You schedule all the events, Tony. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, in your work, um, Evelyn, who schedules the events in your work? You. I am. <clears throat> okay. Good. Will your... Salgado. <laughs> <laughs> De Choto. What about in your store, uh, Jose? Jose Miguel? Um, Who schedules uh, events? The, the boss, Lisbeth Villeda. The boss, she's the, the manager of the store? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, and, and at your work, um, Jennifer, he said, who schedules the events in your company? Lizette. Sí. Sí. Who schedules the events? My event? boss. Your boss. Okay. Good. And your work, William? Who schedules Yo, la jefa. Yeah, My boss. Your boss. Good. Okay, yeah. Usually the boss is the one who schedules the event, right? Great. So uh, the other question is, what are some events that are taking place next week? Oh, this is interesting. Can you tell me some events that are taking place next week? I'd like to hear you. Do you have something scheduled for next week? Who? No. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. I think I have Ev uh, Evans, I creo que sería, mm -hmm. in the Central Park on, of Sonsonat. Okay, when? Saturday. Saturday, okay. Centro. Uh Aha, -huh, Tony. I have three events, the three schedules, three events of schedules in my in my agenda. Uh, one the Monday with the theme of of, of prepaid, and uh, the other meeting is in the um, Thursday. Uh, 19 at for at, at eight and a half a.m. to to twelve and a half p.m. 
And the third is at the same time, uh, a little bit uh, conversation with my boss with, um, with the, I don't know how, I don't know how to say director pays uh, country director. Yes, the country director by 30 minutes at the 10 o'clock. Okay. Three meetings. Three meetings. For now. I think he's CEO, no? Yes, ah, okay, the CEO of the company. Okay. Well, the CEO is the top. Yes. Okay. Solo con esa gente se rosa, don Tony. Oh, yeah. O sea, <laughs> otro level. Anyone else has some events scheduled for next week? Um, me, me, George. Who's at me? Who's at me? Um, George. Me, sir. Okay, George, Rene, and Jose Miguel. Okay. Uh, on Sunday, I, I think travel to Guatemala City. And on Monday, I have a general meeting. And the afternoon, I want tax return. Okay. Good. Rene? In my case, only we will uh, have new opening areas of our services. Okay. Jose Miguel? Um, exhibition of washing machine um, central square uh, Friday, Saturday, um, um, Sunday. No. Sunday. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, anyone else? No, no events next week. Um, I need uh, to meeting with Monday uh, with supervisor Salerton in Sonsonate. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. So oh, let's take a look now to the conversation we have here. Is between Peter and Henry. Listen to the conversation. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Is what I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. One more time. Listen, pay attention to the pronunciation. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Um, guess what? I am. I am presenting the, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Good. 
Now, please repeat after me. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Hello, Hello Henry. Oh, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. Hey, hey, Peter. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO week? I see. I see. I see. Who is delivering the presentation for the sale next week? Guess what? I am. Guess what? Guess what? I am. I am. I am presenting oh, with Hector, the new account. I am presenting, I am presenting with Hector, the new account. New account. Sounds great. Oh, I am informing the committee what? about it. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, I'll give you time to practice the conversation in pairs. I put you in small groups, and after. Practice in yes, the conversation. No. Please complete the. Happen. My microphone got mute. Okay, so you're going to practice the conversation and then you have to complete the sentences according to the conversation, okay? That is what you are going to do. So let me form the groups, small groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, join your groups, please, and practice the conversation.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, if you see in this conversation, we have some uh, sentences. Just let me highlight them. Um, well, it's actually, Julie is attending the conference this year too. Julie is attending the conference this year too. Uh, is this question talking about uh, this sentence is about present, past, or future? Present. 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 Future. 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 Okay. Future. Yes. Probably here is refers Authentic. to a future event. Julie is attending the conference this year. Okay. This one. I am presenting with Hector, a new accountant. This is future. 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 I am informing the committee about it. Future. Future. Okay. Future. So this is what we know as present continuous. This form is continuous. But here we are using this structure for future events. Okay. That's important to know because we use present continuous also for actions taking place right now. Okay, that is correct. So if I say I am teaching English, that's correct. You are studying English, that's correct. Present. But if I say, I am teaching English tomorrow morning. Oh, it's the same form, but future. Okay. I am teaching English tomorrow morning. Future. So please remember that the structure for uh, Present continuous is this, subject, then verb B, then the main verb in gerund, and finally the complement. Teacher, I have a question. Uh-huh. Is the same if we say the present progressive? Yes, it's the same. Okay, only that. That's okay. it. Observe here we have um, I is the subject, am is the verb be, meeting is the main verb in gerund. Gerund is the ing form. Okay? When we talk about gerund, we are talking about ing. ing form. Meet, meeting. Okay? I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. 
And we know that is in the future for the expression, for the time expression tomorrow. Okay. We have a question here. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She is interviewing them at 5 p.m. Again, subject, she. Verb B, is, contracted form. Main verb in gerund, interviewing. Okay, them at 5 p.m. is the complement. I am waiting. I am writing the report next week. Subject? Ah. Verb am. Jaron writing. Complement the report next week. Nice, and I am sending it as soon as you finish. Subject, I. Verb, am. Jaron, sending. Sending. Compliment, it, it as soon as, as soon as you finish. Okay. So we use this present continuous or present progressive for future events. There are some sentences here that you have to write correct, okay? Because the example is Jose tomorrow receiving the new work. Jose is receiving the new workers Tomorrow. Okay. Can you please write in the chat the sentence number two? Sure, yeah. Mark Write the sentence. Good Evelyn, good Luis Miguel. Uh, Jennifer, Le Falta Algo, Rene, good Nelson. Uh-huh, yes. Okay, William. Let's see, good, Tony, good. Okay, uh, the sentence is this. Mark is sending the letters the next week. Perfect. Number three, please. Okay. Usually the time expressions go at the end. Tomorrow, tonight, today, in the afternoon. The time expressions go at the end. Work report.
Okay. Good. Jane is working on the report. Nice. Number four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, very good. Yes. Walter is signing the checks today. Number five. Okay, very good. Yes. And number six. Mm hmm. Correct. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Hey, let's practice. Please repeat after me. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Tomorrow. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Mark is sending the letters the next week. Mark is sending the letters the next week. Mark is sending the letters the next week. Jane is working on the reports tonight. Jane is working on the reports tonight. Report tonight. Reports. Reports. No. Please. Reports. 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 No. The stress is on the O. Reports. Reports. Report. 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 Yes. Yes. Report. Can you see the report? Is the working in the report tonight? No. We are going to report. No, no, it's report. It's report. 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 Okay. <laughs> Walter Before. is signing the checks today. Walter, Walter is signing the checks today. 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 Signing. 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 Yes. <laughs> Marina. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Organizing. 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 Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. 
Okay, people, it's time to stop here. Let's take the third attendance of the evening. Okay. Okay. Atil Ernesto Castillo. Yes. Present. Good night, Good night teacher. teacher. See you tomorrow. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night, teacher. Good night. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Uh, Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Good, Good night, night, Evelyn. Hernan Antonio Chacon. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Good night. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good, Good night. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here present teacher and good night. Good See night. you tomorrow. See you. Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Juan Antonio Elias. Present, teacher. Man. I'm See you. Late. See you in a moment. Luis Miguel Thanks. Corvera. Present. Good night, everyone. Good night. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Good night. Nelson Orlando Present. Tejada. Present. Good night. Good night. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good night. Good night, René Alessandro Teresón. Here, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good night. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present, teacher. Good yes. night. Good night. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Sofía Carolina. Okay, good night. Uh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night. Good night. Uh, Jorge Luis Martinez. Jorge Luis is gone. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Good night, teacher. Good night, Jose. Okie dokie. Okay, Tony, how can I help you? Yes, I have a few questions. Um, I have a... Uh, no sé cómo decir duda. I have a doubt. Uh, doubt. Out um, about something items. Okay, when and how I use how much and how many because I have a an um, interpretation that how much and how many is for countable and uncountable, but the answer is, is for the stars, the sound of the of the light of the man, of the sea. Uh, when when I use this this items, I, I can read uh, some examples. When I I have a doubt of, of the use. Mm -hmm. Well, um, don't think about the 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 number, the maybe. number, the things. This is a grammar question, a grammar issue. Uh, the thing is the noun. The noun is uncountable or countable, not the objects, okay? When we talk about the stars, 
the stars are countable. So that means you can say one star, two stars, three stars, four stars. That is correct. Okay. So you can count them. They are infinite, maybe, but they are countable. You know, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. uncountable doesn't mean that they are so many that you cannot count them. No, that is not the idea of countable and uncountable. The idea is that the noun is not about something that is countable. For example, the word money, the noun money, the word money is uncountable because it doesn't have plural. That is one key to identify countable and uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns, they don't have plural. Money, for example. What is the plural of money? It doesn't have. Uh, yes. So uh, it's incorrect if you say one money, two monies, three monies. Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. Okay. So it's an uncountable noun. And what about... The sense, the sense of the desert, the sense of the of the playa, the how do you say playa? Beach. Uh, beach, the, the beach. Okay. This is called the, the noun is I will to say sun and sense. They have plural. That the noun has plural. So if you start to count the sand, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Gram rain, grammatically rain. is correct. You will never finish, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the, the idea. Example is the numbers. Yes. But numbers are plural. Yes. So the, the thing is that countable and uncountable means that uncountable doesn't mean infinite. Something is infinite because you can start counting and you will never end counting, but you can count. You can use that noun in plural, stars, stars, sand, the sands, um, many things that are countable, no matter they are infinite. Uncountable are words or nouns, sustantivos, that you cannot count, yeah? Because they don't have plural and is grammatically incorrect. Um, when they use this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, I talking about, mm -hmm. talking about water. Mm -hmm. Water, like a substance, is uncountable. So you, you, we don't this say one. It's correct. And I, I don't have a doubt about this, but when you say, um, I remember one, one example that you say, uh, how much bread is eaten per day? Mm -hmm. um, bread, yeah, in English, as a type of food, bread, the word bread is uncountable now. I know, we in Spanish, you say, hey, pasame tres panes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 
but in English, you have to say, hey, could you give me three pieces of pan of bread? Could you give me uh, lo, 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 pan en bolitas, se le dice buns. Could you, you give me three buns of bread? A loaf of bread, es, es el pan grande entero, una hogaza de pan. It's a loaf of bread. But in English, we don't, you, you don't say one bread, two breads, three breads. No, you have to say three pieces of bread. Three bonds okay. of bread. Okay. The, the key is the word is, doesn't have a plural. This is the key. That the is most key. important key. Okay. 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 The second question is it, more, more. Um, uh, and, for example, and, and, you, you must make the difference. How many is what we say in Spanish, cuantos, cuantas. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you can say it in that way, is how many. And how much is cuanto, cuanta. It's different. We have that different in, in Spanish also. Okay, we say, ¿cuántos, cuántas manzanas eres? We don't say, ¿cuántas manzanas eres, right? But we say, ¿cuántas? That's how many. How many apples do you want? Uh, but we, we don't say, ¿cuántos aceite querés? No, we say, ¿how much? ¿Cuánto aceite querés? Ah, one bottle, one gallon, one quarter. Uh, lo está midiendo, pero you need a, 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 a measure. A, se llaman quantifiers. Mm -hmm. Necesitas algo para cuantificarlo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. okay. La otra duda. Mm. Siento que me trago en el in y el on, pero Justamente es cuando, cuando trato de traer a mente eh, el, el dentro de algo que es el in y el on que es como encima o como sobre o como lo más cerca posible, pero no todavía dentro de. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, mis dudas salían sobre todo porque hay cosas en las cuales me queda como... Como, como la duda, eh, a modo de ejemplo, eh, cuando hacemos referencia a, a, a lugares eh, como específicos, eh, at the library or in the library. Eh, uh, in and at, sometimes they are, uh -huh. eh, well, but. In and Así at, como la llave que me acaba de decir para los contables y los incontables con el plural y el no uh, plural en la letra, debe de haber alguna clave para que no me, para que sienta que no tenga, ahí es donde me quedo pensando y digo, ¿cuál? In, on, at. In, on, at. Well, in and at um, sometimes are very, uh, are kind of, we can use them indistinctly. Especially in that case, as you said, okay, in the office, at the office, that both are correct. Okay, because he's in the office because he's inside the office, mm -hmm. at the office because it's a specific place, in the hospital, at the hospital. Actually, you can use them indistinctly, okay? Um, there are some situations, for example, when you give us a very specific address, so we say at. When you give this, the street and the number, that's at, always. Okay, my office is at Panamericana Street. No, in English we say at, the number goes first. My office is at 27 Panamericana Street. So you are giving the building, the number, 
in the street. The complete it article. Definitely is with F, okay. Ah. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yes. Uh, when you talk about being inside of the building, uh, you can use in, okay? Um, but it's okay if you use at, because it's a specific place. On uh, is, is more for, um, well, in is also, I have, I have an image here. Uh, let me see. Let me find that to show you. When we say in is for big areas, large areas like cities, countries, um, talking about place, give me a sec. It, okay, here must be. Give me a moment. Where are the prepositions? Okay. Okay, let me share this. I don't know if you have seen this chart. Okay. In, on, at. You, you see this? Yes. Okay. I see. So in is more general. On is a little bit more specific. Smaller. And at is very specific. The smallest, the mass picking. So you know that we use in on at for time. Is maybe is easier. Time. Problem is for place. Okay, for place. We use in for countries, cities, neighborhood, enclosed space, espacios cerrados. Okay. In so the setting. In. In the gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The space is in. Okay. On is for streets, avenues, surfaces, superficies, for example, the first floor, the second floor, means of transport, medio de transporte, communications use on and very specific is at addresses and specific locations well por eso es que a veces podemos intercambiar uh, at con in y si hablamos de specific locations we can use at y si son lugares cerrados so we can use in as well yeah. Um, no sé si esta imagen me aclara sí, un poco esta, más. Esta es mucho más, más fácil. Justamente ese triángulo invertido que da la, la condicionante de que mientras más me acerco al objeto, tengo que ir siendo más específico pasando del link al on y luego del on al at. Okay. ok. Ok, me parece perfecto. Esta sí ya me lo dejo mucho más claro. Y la última es... Estaba haciendo ahorita, antes de entrar a clases, el, el examen de medio, de medio turno o de el, el mediado de la, de la clase. Y el sistema me corrigió en la, cuando utilizamos el yo necesito o y lo debo. Para mí es un tema como de prioridad. Eh, el yo necesito es como más ambiguo. O sea, 
o como yo quisiera, yo quisiera tener dinero, yo quisiera tener un montón de, de herramientas, yo quisiera tener un montón de teléfonos, pero uh -huh. el, el yo debo va, o, o el yo tengo que hacer es más como una, una urgencia o una necesidad que debo de cumplir para que algo se dé. Entonces eso es como más, vamos como de lo ambiguo a lo más urgente. Entonces, uh -huh. En una de las preguntas me decía, she lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. Ella perder 20 libras para usar su, su vestido de, de novia. Entonces yo le puse, ella debe de, she has to lose. Uh -huh. eh, esa es la respuesta correcta. Entonces yo le puse, ella necesita perder. Yo le puse, she needs to lose. Ajá. Entonces, el sistema me lo corrigió, me tenía que poner she has to. Entonces, la pregunta es, como para sí. mí es el sentido de urgencia, tengo un dicho con mi gente que le digo, miren, tienen que pasar los tres tamices, eh, cuando quieren comprar algo, porque a, a veces uno le toca también hacer de consejero de todo tipo, entonces con los hipotes, les digo, este, cuando están en la tentación de que deben de comprar algo, porque el eh, Henry, eh, um, Henry Pérez, que estuvo de ah. el, el, la primera semana, Ajá. Este, y de ahí le dijeron, no, es que usted tiene que estar en otro grupo. Y Nelson son los jefes. Ellos uh -huh. están bajo mi, mi cargo. Y Henry se los pone bien fácil. O sea, ¿lo quieres? ¿Puedes pagarlo? Dale. Vea. Entonces, yo se las pongo al revés, que es mi esposa la que me enseñó eso. Le digo, miren, la primera es, lo necesita. La segunda es, realmente puede vivir sin ella. Y la tercera es, le sobra el dinero para comprarla. Entonces, va como en el sentido de urgencia. Si yo paso esos tres camisas, lo compro. Es bien difícil llegar a la segunda, por sí, de por sí. Entonces, esta señorita dice, ella debe de perder o ella necesita perder. ¿Es un sentido de urgencia o es una necesidad? De por eso te quedes, ahí donde me quedo es, need to o has to. O Ajá. la llave. En donde me quedo. La otra es, they... Need to eat eh, right now. I'm starving. Ellos necesitan comer ahora. Yo estoy hambriento. Eh, y la otra, ellos deben comer ahora. Yo estoy hambriento. Ajá. El sentido de urgencia para mí es: si estoy hambriento, es necesito o debo. Ajá. Y es ahí donde yo me quedo. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo debo sí? ¿Cuándo debo no? La mayoría de las veces es cierto, pero siempre voy con esa duda. ¿Hay alguna ya? Oh. Ok, I will give you my, what I know. Ok. I don't know what is here in this exercise. Because have to, have to, is more for actually obligation. So, something that is your responsibility mm -hmm. and your obligation. You have to, yeah, I have to be early. I have to be on time. I have to, so it's my obligation. It's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. For me, have to is, is that, it's a responsibility okay, that I have to do. Work, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to, okay, for me is is stronger, up to, mm. yeah. Need, well, as you said, is for something that could be necessary. Um, no, because for pleasure is more I want. You mm. say I want, okay, yo quiero. I want, I want an paying. air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> I want it, but uh, too much. The bill, the electricity bill is going to be too expensive. Uh -huh. um, the first thing is the price. The second is the, the energy Yeah, bill. actually, yes. Monthly, okay. But okay, maybe at the moment it's not a necessity. It's, it's something that I want. Is not a necessity. And I then mom. the K will be the uh, triangle inverse with the the first level is 
uh, need to for less expensive or, or less necessary and have to is for an obligation and and um, something to is very important to do and if they don't uh, do it uh, I, I have uh, something what happened wrong or I don't know yeah okay yeah but uh, as I told you some even in Spanish sometimes we use Maybe we say, oh, necesito hacer esto. Or tengo que hacer esto. We don't make a big difference, right? Do you? Uh, necesito enviar este correo. Tengo que enviar este correo. Is a big difference for you in Spanish? Well, yes. Because if I need to send them a message or email for a, an information or an, an action to do this week, I, I only say I need to. But if I, I want or I have to send a report to my boss, it's ex extremely important. Or send the, the board of commissions of the distributor is something very important that affect the cash flow of the enterprises. Okay. It's so, so many, um, I don't know, it's, it's very important. And, and this is okay. the, the case for me. Okay, so that will be the difference. So, uh, as I told you, have to is an obligation. Yes or yes? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, have to. When you talk about respons your responsibilities at work, you say, well, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to, yeah. What you need maybe is not your obligation, okay? As I told you, I need an air conditioner, but it's not an obligation, yeah? I need it, but if I don't get it, Nobody is going to tell me why you didn't get the air conditioner. No, okay. it's not an obligation. Okay. And I want it. It's, it's, it's completely uh, my desire, mm -hmm. my want. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> okay. okay, it's not okay. my obligation. No? Okay. That's the way to. I don't know if I helped you with that. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so much. My pleasure, sir. Okay. See you tomorrow and have a good night. You too, Tony. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.